Hi everyone, Jamie here from Live Spain for Life and we're just taking on a new property in Creviente which is a very nice property and I thought while we were here we would do a little video as well just for people who can't get over at the moment. So I'm going to take you on a tour around the garden and around the house and this property also has two guest apartments. So this property actually sits on around 24,000 square metres although a smaller space is um, fenced off to keep it more maintainable and the plot of land has access through a nice little building here with gates out to the uh, land. They don't really do anything with the land, um, but it's there if you wanted to do something. And so from there you have a nice pathway. Over the front side of the property you have an electric gate where you can access with the car, bring the car in and there is a large driveway. And the garden is filled with palms, olive trees, nice mature these are false pepper trees just to give you a bit of shelter from the sun and a lot of love and effort has been put into making this garden it is very beautiful you have a nice outside kitchen here with water and barbecue And then you have some archways here leading to the pool. It's an 8x4 swimming pool. Uh, it's totally private, you have no close neighbours. You do have neighbours but the plots are that big that uh, you don't really notice them. So from the pool area you have a casita here with a toilet in, nice fitted kitchen and this bed is a sofa bed, so it folds out into a double bed. And here you have the bathroom. And also next to this room, you have a nice bar area. Perfect for entertaining. So this is classed as the front of the property and this is where you have your large driveway. You do have, you probably can't make it out on here, but you do have beautiful views of the mountain range behind you and Creviente, which is the closest town. You're in between Creviente and Cachao here. So back into the back garden. You have lots of seating areas under the trees. And you have this beautiful Moroccan style terrace here. From the terrace you have a hallway here which leads to another guest apartment. And this apartment's a little bigger than the other one and in here you have everything you need. <clears throat> so you have a nice living area, you have a wood burning stove, sorry wood burning fire. Kitchen area. And you have a nice double bedroom in here with its own ensuite. And with a nice walk in shower just behind there. So, this is perfect if you have friends and family or if you have regular guests visiting, they have their own private space and they can maybe stay for a little bit longer. Not too long though. And then this also leads to the driveway so they can bring their car straight in and park just outside. So we're just at the front entrance now and you've got a nice terrace just outside. You have the main entrance gate to the property which is just over there. And you have your front door here. So as you come into the property you can head left. We will go left first actually, which is into the living room. You have these lovely wooden ceilings. And in here you have again another wood burning fireplace. 
very nice room in the winter and in the summer it's nice and cool as well in here and then through this way <clears throat> you have a nice formal dining room you have a bit of storage in there there is a loft up there with plenty of storage and then again following the room round you have another living area now this section of the house could actually be made into another guest quarters but obviously they don't need to have it like that they have a nice room here with its own terrace outside you have another wood burner in here and then this sort of relaxing room in here could be a music room be a studio a library so across from there you have the large kitchen nice and bright you have double doors leading out to the back there You have an integrated dishwasher, there's washing machine, a nice double stove <clears throat> and another dining area here, air conditioning as well. So heading down the hallway now you have the first room is the bathroom, you have a bath and you have a nice big walk-in shower as well. You have a double guest bedroom. <clears throat> You've got the wardrobes in that side too. And then at the end, you have the master bedroom. And in here you have just a toilet and a sink. So overall a very, very nice property. Still lots that you could do with this property. Um, but you can see it's all done to a very high standard. There is a little bit of painting needed on the outside. But um, the owners, they just want to sell as it is now at a good price. Rather than spending more money and putting the price up. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, we'll try and keep them coming. Bye bye.